I know that you must be really upset. Upset is just one of the emotions I'm feeling, Kim. How could you do this to me? I don't know. My hormones went crazy, and I was scared, and I thought that we were only together because I was pregnant, and so I lied, and I pushed you out the door, and then I got really angry that you left me. Were you ever planning on telling me? Yes, of course, yes. I just hadn't figured out how yet. I mean, what could I possibly say? I don't know. How about JD? I think there might be something living in my uterus. I know I made a huge mistake. And I'm so, so sorry. I just, I had backed myself into this corner I didn't know how to get out of, and... You know what? No more excuses. I did a horrible thing. I don't expect you to forgive me. Well, good, because I'm not going to. You probably hate me right now because I hate myself. But it's been really good seeing you, and and I thought I could do this on my own, but I can't. I'm alone, and I'm terrified, and I have no right to ask you for this, but I could really use some help. Crap salad, I gotta go give another lecture. I just need 40 minutes, and please stay. Promise me that you'll just stay and we can talk about this. Fine. But I'm not doing it for you. Fair enough. Oh, no, I'm saving this for someone. He should be here any minute. And yeah, I still have doubts about my decision. You shouldn't ask me this. JD, how could he just leave me there? Look, I know you're angry, but you promised we'd talk and then you just left me stranded there at that bar. Look, I wanted to talk to you because, well, the baby's due in a month. And I guess I was hoping that you'd want me to have it here, you know, so that we could go through it together. Okay, I'm in. Really? Yeah, you can even stay here. But this is only one bedroom. This couch isn't that uncomfortable. Thanks. Actually, I'm gonna go lie down right now. <laughs> Whoa, 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 you get the couch, I get the bed. Was that not clear? Dorian, she's pregnant. Give her the bed. Fine, you can have the bed. You're a great guy, J.D. J.D., thank you for being here. It's making it a lot easier to get through this. After what I did to you, you can name this kid whatever the hell you want. <laughs> this has been the first good day for me in a long time, J.D. Thank you. I'm glad. I have to admit something. Uh-oh. Last night when I went into your room, I couldn't fall asleep. I just laid on the bed, staring at the door, hoping you might come in. Kim. I know. You don't trust me, and I don't even know if you like me. I don't really like myself right now. But do you think there's a one in a million chance that a year from now or five years from now, you could get to a place where you forgive me and then maybe, you know, we could give it another shot. No is a powerful word. Luckily with Kim, it was easy just to say yes and make her feel better. No, Kim. I'm sorry. There's not any chance. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it. What am I doing here? Everybody hates me. I can't get the zipper up on your big fat cousin's dress. <laughs> no wonder JD said what he said. Hey, this is nice. But given recent events, cuddling was as far as I was gonna go. Kim and I had to get to know each other again, build trust, and oh my god, is that side boob? Oh, careful with the side boob, big guy. My hormones are going crazy. I might just pounce your skinny ass. <laughs> Kim, I really don't think we should. I won't. I got a giant boogie in my nose. Look at her saying, I won't, with a giant boogie in her nose. I must have her. You know what, on second thought? Yes? Still, I wonder what it would be like having sex with a pregnant woman. <laughs> that was so cool. And weird. Yeah, somebody else liked it too. He's going crazy in there. And now it's disgusting. The next three weeks flew by. We stayed up nights talking. We got the place ready for a baby. 
And before you knew it, we were a couple again. Bye. Bye, Sammy. Look at them. Mom, dad, and baby. That's gonna be us. Oh, no problem. I'll wait up for you. And you know that half glass of wine my doctor says I'm allowed every night? I'm gonna hold off until you get here, because it makes me super randy. Get your butt home already. We haven't seen each other in days. Don't you miss me? In my case, it was never about sabotaging myself. Daddy's home. Come here, check out these big pregnant hippo feet. Wow, those are truly disgusting. Right? I missed you. It was the simple answer, just like Turk said. I had knocked up a girl on our first date, and I don't have strong feelings for her and probably never will. Amazing. Then whispering, I love you, to our baby and hoping that Kim wasn't wondering why I hadn't said the same thing to her. I know we've had our ups and downs, but I'm really glad we're going through this together. Oh, JB, you've been so great. I'm feeling really connected to you, you know? How are you feeling about us? I was asking how you're feeling about us. Damn it! I've been working up the courage to tell you that I'm falling... No, don't say it. Why not? Look, I think you're amazing, but I'm just not ready to say it back yet. That's okay. I really hurt you, so it makes sense that you would need more time to get there. Bullet dodged. Eh, oh, what the hell. JD, I love you. Cool. Okay, not answering Kim's I love you was awkward, but at least it was over. So do you think you could ever be in love with me? Let it go, woman! Kim, let's focus on having the baby. Answer the question. Lie to her. And don't lie to me. Look, I think you're amazing, right? I've, I've mentioned that. And, and even though I'm not you know, in love with you right now, I really hope that one day I wake up feeling what you said you feel, even though I kind of asked you not to say it. Do you really hope that? With all my heart. Because I always dreamed of finding a guy who hoped he could fall in love with me someday. Really? That's kind of weird. No, JD, do you actually think that's enough for me? There are a lot of guys out there who think I'm a good catch. The words cute as a button have been thrown around on more than one occasion. I know that, Kim. You're amazing. Stop calling me amazing, okay? Would you even be with me if I wasn't dropping this kid? I don't know how to answer that. I think you just did. You know what? We're done. What are we talking about? We're having a baby. Yeah, we are, but I deserve to be with somebody who doesn't need to cross his fingers and hope that he falls in love with me, maybe, someday. Oh, it's over, J.D. I hate you so much right now, J.D. Don't worry, all women see that stuff during labor. She doesn't mean it. I do! He just broke up with me! What? No, no, technically I didn't break up with her. I just told her I didn't love her. Who did he say that to? The mother of his baby. No, he didn't. Man, she looks familiar. Get out! No, I'm not letting you go through this alone. I have someone else I can call. <laughs> Get out of here, you jerk! No. Okay, I need you to stop pushing for a minute. You're a piece of crap. You're doing great, that I hate your hair. Impossible, nobody does. Almost there. <laughs> You two ready to be parents? And right then I couldn't help but wonder. <laughs> Are you ever? He's so beautiful. <sighs> I'm really glad you came back in. Me too. It's weird, you know? This is the end of our relationship, but it's sort of just the beginning. Can I hold him? Of course. Here's your daddy. Hi. Hi, handsome. Welcome to the world, Sammy.